Welcome to living-technologies.info. My name is Sonia and today we're going to speak about raw kefir grains that are organic and how to make raw kefir milk. Hi everybody, welcome to another segment of Living Technologies and Living Sea Organics. I am going to talk today about this magical fruit called kefir grains. This is a 7,000 year old culture that you're looking at. That's what the kefir grains look like, okay? And you can see how like when I grab them, they're kind of like little sponges. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about the history of kefir grains, where they originated from, because a lot of there's a lot of misconception and misinformation on the internet about this, and I want to educate you guys correctly. This is a 7,000 year old culture. It came from the Caucasus Mountains originally, by mistake. Everything kind of happens that way, doesn't it? And I will talk about another product another time that similar things happen in terms of its discovery is what I'm meaning. So this particular live culture, okay, these kefir grains will make you more probiotics than any product you can buy in the marketplace. I mean any product. If you start kefirizing your milk and you start making kefir milk and you do it correctly, this is a secret to longevity and life. I'll explain why. Probiotics in Latin means pro-life. Antibiotics in Latin means anti-life. I'm gonna get into a little bit more of that. And then I'm gonna go back to the kefir grains because that's what this video is about. An educa educational video about kefir grains. The word pharma in Latin means poisoner. So when you're buying pharmaceuticals, you're consenting to being poisoned. End of story. Now, back to a pro-life product that was developed not in a lab. <laughs> the way this product was developed the kefir grains, this live culture is 7,000 years ago, whether it was a Mongolian family or maybe a, a family that was in the eastern part of Russia, one of those areas, okay, they would have bags with goat's milk in them because that's 7,000 years ago. You got to remember, we didn't have any refrigeration, except in those countries, obviously, in wintertime, it would get really cold. But basically, this particular live culture came about because what they would do is, this is how they would, they would store their kefir, okay? They would store them in bags made out of the goats themselves, either their udders themselves, the goats that they had actually basically either died or they had butchered, and they made bags out of it. And they would store in the goat bags, they would store the milk, the raw milk that they had just milked out of their cows or goats or sheep. <laughs> and I'm going like this, I used to go to milk a goat. Um, and they put it in this bag. And what happened is over time, these polysaccharide kefir grains developed. And that's what they discovered in the bag is one day, this woman, Put her hand in there and could feel these grains and she could feel pretty i don't know if i have a big huge grain here i'll see if i can find one you know sometimes these grains will grow to be quite large so for example this is not a very large grain but i'll give you an idea okay so that's but imagine this being a big fat one like it could grow up to be the, the size of my hand and i have had kefir grains that I have either grown the size of that grain, okay? So this woman discovers this grain, and at the same time, she discovers that the milk itself tastes a little bit sweet, a little bit sour, it's kind of frothy, and she realizes in drinking it that it has a different quality, right? A different quality to regular raw milk. So one of the things you need to consider why are they putting all these laws and all these states forbidding 
raw milk to be delivered to our households, raw milk to be delivered to the store. You really need to ask yourself, why are they doing that? And I'll tell you why, actually. The reason why is because they want to keep you sick. And you're probably going to think, oh, she's loony toony. What the hell is she talking about? That's okay. You haven't gone down that rabbit hole. I have. <clears throat> the reason why they don't want raw milk in the stores is because raw milk is something you can digest. Cooked milk, homogenized, ultra pasteurized, you cannot digest. That's why there's so many people that are allergic to milk these days. It's because they're drinking something that your body can't absorb or digest. They've cooked out all the elements, and fundamental elements that actually give life to humans. They've cooked it out of it. So what you're drinking is this chalky, thick muck of a liquid that they've reconstituted, because they'll do that as well, that we constituted and put calcium that you can't absorb and they'll put vitamin D. It all comes naturally in raw milk. It's part of it. So why, why in God's name are you cooking it to death and then selling it to us? Please, somebody answer this question. If 7,000 years ago, people, tribesmen in the Caucasus Mountains, other parts of the world were drinking raw milk and didn't get sick, why is it all of a sudden such a problem? Anyhow, get back to a segment which is about kefir grains. <laughs> so we sell these at $20 for one full ounce, like you could see in this little jar. And these kefir grains will provide life for you and your family for the rest of your life. Now, I gotta explain something to you in your gut. Most people walking around today, because of all the poison we have ingested voluntarily from the pharmaceutical companies, from medical doctors, from the whole industry, has completely destroyed our microbiome. And what it leaves you with, all these pharmaceuticals, what they leave you with is 90% bad bacteria in your intestines, in your gut, and it leaves you with 10% good bacteria. Now, you tell me why you're so sick. Please explain to me why you're so sick. You don't know this, see? They kept this, kept this hidden from you. You don't know that the reason why you're sick is that you don't have ample probiotics and a little probiotic machine like these kefir grains that can keep making probiotics for the rest of your life. And once you buy this jar, you treat these, these kefir grains nicely, you take good care of them, you feed them lots of fresh milk, you're gonna grow this to be, this is gonna turn into 10. This little one ounce jar will turn into 10 little one ounce jars and you can make kefir for your family, for your community, and it starts saving people's lives. Right now, we are being poisoned in the air, poisoned in our water, poisoned in the plants, poisoned in the food because of what they're spraying up there. All, the, all these metasols, I call them metasols. My, my significant other is the one that came up and coined that name with their aerosol um, engineering spraying that they're doing, okay? And they're spraying us with heavy metals. When you ingest, whether it's through your lungs, which is the way we're taking it in, and I understand that pictures of the chemtrail, that's what most people know, know them to be, but it's actually geoengineering spraying, and they're putting nanotechnology that is micro, not macro, micro. It goes through the bloodstream, it goes through those cell walls, and it's invading our whole entire body. And the heavy metals are affecting our minds. So how many of you guys out there are losing your memory, your short-term memory, when you're in your 30s or 40s, you know, some people in their 50s, some people in their 60s, and they can't remember what, you go to the other room and you can't remember what's next. That's happening to us because of the spraying that they're doing to us. Anyhow, to get back to our conversation about kefir grains, you want kefir grains, okay? You want to either get them from me or somebody else. Organic kefir grains is what you want. Then you want to get yourself some raw milk, okay? I explained to you why raw milk is what you want. If you cannot get raw milk 
because you didn't find a farmer in your local area. And believe me, all over the world, there's local farmers that have their cows and their goats and their sheep, and they drink their own milk, raw milk, because they don't want to buy the crap at the store. Okay. So why don't you just be a little bit ingenious and go out there and find yourself some farmers that have the raw milk and work out some kind of a trade or some kind of a deal with them and start getting the benefits of raw milk. Raw milk, especially when you kefirize it, when you ferment it with kefir grains, gets rid of the issues, the allergic issues, which is the casein and the sugars. It, it eats up, it lives off of that. This, these little grains will actually eat up all your sugar and all the casein in the milk. The other thing that it does to the milk, so for those of you, those of you who are worried about, oh my God, raw milk, what if it has any kind of bad, bad bacteria in it? It eats it up. The kefir grains literally eat up the bad bacteria. Do you realize that the, the, the people of the Caucasus Mountains lived to 125, 150 years old? So even back, in, because we're talking about a 7,000 year old culture, right? The biblical culture is only 2,000 years old. So you're talking 7,000 years before that, people that were in the know were doing this, okay? Back, way back, back then, because they knew this was their best way to inoculate their body and keep it healthy. If you have good bacteria that goes from your intestines, if you have no good bacteria down here, this won't work. This brain is connected it's been proven, the medical researchers, it's been proven. And this bacteria and in this intestine, stomach, digestive tract is connected to this, to your noggin, okay? And if this noggin, it's been discovered that we have a brain in our stomach, isn't that a trip? Do you remember, do you remember when you have a bad feeling, where do you get that bad feeling? Do you get it here? Never, you get it right here, that's why they say, Check out your gut feeling about this. Gut feeling, the gut is intelligent. And you, know, you meet somebody and you go, you know what, I don't have a good feeling about that person. I don't, wanna have, I don't wanna deal with them. I don't wanna have anything to do with them, right? I'm just explaining the biology here. There is an organ that is invisible, that, is dis that was discovered by Dr. Ruggiero called the microbiome. And this microbiome organ delivers the good bacteria from your intestines and bad bacteria to the brain. So if you're having neurological issues, if you're having cancer issues, if you're having all these illnesses that are map, you know, in a massive scale on the planet, you need to start eating raw food, kefirize everything, kefirize your milk, you can kefirize juice. I'll do another video on that. I just want to stay focused on this. And once you do that, what's amazing is you'll start to shift from 10% good bacteria to 90% good bacteria instead of having a 90 bad bacteria, 10% good bacteria. You also, what this will do, just the kefir alone with the kefir milk, what it will do is it will start to rebuild your microbiome. That organ that got depleted and almost destroyed by the pharma poisoned medications, the pharmaceuticals, he know I'm saying the truth. They're like, oops, she caught us. She knows what we're, why we call our drugs poison, because they are poison. So I was severely injured by the pharmaceutical companies. My parents didn't know it, but when I was a little kid, they gave me pharmaceuticals. They gave me antibiotics, so I was green in the face, and that killed my microbiome practically. And it killed my intestines, and it gave me constipation. It gave me an impacted intestine. I can, I can go on it. That almost killed me. I've died twice and come back because of medical doctors. Thank you very much. So I've had a pretty good, strong experience about what the medical... AMA profession, I'm talking about the pharmaceutical medical profession, which is the AMA, the medical association. So, and most people that I talk to these days, they're also sick of you as well, because you've created poisons on, on, in people's bodies that have destroyed, that are destroying our health. So you want to get back into health? Kefir. Kefir is the key.
okay? You want to revert that 90 bad bacteria, 10% good bacteria to 90 good bacteria, 10% bad bacteria. Lots of you folks that have purchased our super immune activator kit, which by the way, I'm about to come out with my own proprietary blend of raw probiotics. That's gonna be more potent than this and the vitamin D3 and the kefir grains and my whole kit and I teach you and I coach you on how to make the GCMAF with these products. People have asked me, is it okay if I buy the, the homogenized milk at the store? Sure, it's okay. It's not gonna have the same effect. It's not gonna be as potent as this. This is medicine. Somebody called me that bought the kit and was like complaining, which was lovely, it's so funny. He said, I don't like the texture of it. I don't like the taste of it. I said, it's medicine. <laughs> it, does medicine taste good? He goes, no. I go, well, you know, it's medicine. So it's good for you. So keep taking it. If you don't like the taste of it, add a couple of things to it to make it taste good, like berries or fruit of some sort. Put in a smoothie and, and, and then do your GMAC with it. But people need to realize that food is medicine not their poison. This is food, this is all food. All this is food, it's medicine. And that's what you need to keep in mind. So if you want a healthy life and you wanna get rid of the ailments that you have, then start probiotic that the heck out of your body. I, when I initially discovered kefir grains and kefir milk in a raw cheese class, it's where I discovered this, Four years ago, the first time I drank the goat's milk, the kefir goat's milk that a local woman had made, I was shocked at how my body was craving it for days. I mean, I took a sip of that at, the, at, at our class and I was like, my body felt like a big breath of fresh air. I can't explain it. It's like, and, and it was such a craving that I couldn't stop drinking the stuff. And that's happened to me and other folks as well, that all of a sudden get on the kefir, you know, start kefirizing their raw milk. It's been amazing how I get feedback of how they can't stop drinking the stuff because you're so depleted. So stop wasting your money. I, do you know how much this costs at the store? This goes from 30 to 40 bucks at the store, sometimes 45. This is a five day supply. I stretch it out when we do our GMAC product. This will be a much longer supply because you're only taking one gram, you know, and a one gram ladle and pouring it to, to make your GMAC. But this product, if you're gonna buy this every five days and spend $40, you do the math. In a year, how much that would cost you? This product costs 20 bucks. This will make you, for the rest of your life, if you treat them right, the kefir grains, right? And you put them in raw milk and you keep making them and you make more and more kefir grains will grow out of it because it's a live culture. And you just keep making it and eating it and drinking it. This, now I need to talk about this. <clears throat> this is very important, I almost forgot. I'm gonna let you know what the content is of a kefir grains. So kefir grains are fat 4.5, ash 12.1, mucopolysaccharide 45.7, protein 34.3, insoluble protein 27%, soluble is 1.6%, amino acids 5.6. A small percentage of unknown substances as well, but like we've discovered. This stuff, now I want to get into what it makes. So now we're going to go back to the other, and I will post this here. You'll have the links below so you could read these, these blogs. These two blogs have been reposted, and I got permission from both parties. One says it's a repost because it's a university. Guess what? That's public domain information. But the information from Don in Australia, I contacted him and asked him permission to repost it on my, on my web blog. Surprising probiotic count of kefir revealed, okay, of kefir grains revealed. So I need to read this to you guys because it's going to blow your mind. A University of Florida microbiology class has been studying the beneficial 
uh, probiotics in kefir and coming to some shocking results. The professor of the class is described as an avid kefir drinker, smart man. The class has been testing kefir from the Glades uh, Ridge goat dairy, raw milk, by the way, guys. It's not cooked milk, I guarantee you. Says owner of the dairy, Greg Urish, further findings are still under investigation, seeking out individual strains. However, preliminary results show there's 10 billion, 10 billion CFUs, colony forming units per milliliter. Oh my God, do you know what a milliliter is? It's like in a syringe, it's this much. If you were gonna inject yourself with one milliliter, it'd be that much liquid. 10 billion. In, in 10 billion CFUs in one milliliter. This is not a misprint. 10 billion colony forming units per milliliter is equal to 10 billion CFUs per 0 0. 0.0.03381 ounces. Since there are roughly five milliliters in one measured teaspoon, that makes one measured teaspoon I'm glad I have one to show you. One measured teaspoon of kefir milk, if you had kefir milk, okay, is equal to 50 billion colony forming probiotics per teaspoon. 150 billion colony forming units per tablespoon. And can you imagine when you drink a whole ounce of this stuff? Oh my God, or two ounces, or how about an eight ounce glass like this, hello, <laughs> that you drink every morning away from food on an empty stomach, kefir milk, drink it up. It's delicious. You'll get used to the taste. And when it gets really fermented, and re it ends up having this electric, yummy kind of effervescence to it that when you drink it it's going to take almost like effervescent milk it's amazing when you drink this and you're drinking eight ounces so do the math if it's one milliliter that has a 10 what, what did we say 10 billion yes one 10 billion cfus per per one milliliter do the math on it Tell me how much there is in an eight ounce glass. How much money is it gonna cost you to get, let's see. Well, let's talk about just one tablespoon. That's 150 billion probiotics. Tell me how much that's gonna cost you. This supposedly has 400 billion. This is a five day supply. This is a lifetime supply because it's a raw, live culture. They can't cultureize this in labs, by the way. They can't. I've researched it, because I, I want to get a hold of a whole bunch of kefir grains so I could keep offering it to you guys that are organic, GMP, you know, certified, not junk. So if that's the case, what are we doing? Going to the store and spending thousands of dollars and especially for you people that are sick, you know, going to the store and spending thousands of dollars buying products. This is a phenomenal product, by the way. I'm not putting this product down. I'm just like showing you the difference. This you can make at home with raw milk, and it will make you far beyond 400 billion probiotics. This is 400 billion if you take the nine gram ladle that's in here and you put it in something and you eat it. Here's the challenge. This is why I'm saying drink eight ounces twice a day, kefir milk. When you drink it, it goes into your digestive tract. Think about this. Isn't your digestive tract full of like acids in the stomach, hydrochloric acid? Isn't your stomach, and this is my understanding from Chinese medicine, not to eat, drink cold drinks with ice when you eat food because it cools down the digestive tract. Your digestive tract is running at about 110 degrees. So when 
it's okay for kefir milk. It won't really kill the kefir or the, or the probiotics in the milk. What does though is the gastric acids. So you're, you're actually take 100% of the kefir right, milk, you're drinking it, you're only actually absorbing and it's going to your gut 30%. So people go, well, Sonia, how can we bypass, how can we bypass the intestinal tract? <laughs> well, think about it for a second. We have a hole down there and women have two holes actually. You can do enemas and then you can do implants. I've done them. I cured myself from a candida infection. The things that we have to learn about our body that medical doctors, you got to understand, a medical doctor that goes to school to get a permit, a license is a permit for doing something illegal, unlawful. You are doing things that are unlawful. That's why you have to have a license because you're pimping their drugs. Hello? <laughs> Anyhow, Get back to the kefir grains. You take eight ounces of the kefir grains and you drink it twice a day on an empty stomach. You'll see your whole health completely shift. Your whole life will, if you wanna supercharge it, you wanna buy our GMAT kit, our, G, our colostrum. It'll be our, our proprietary blend of probiotics that will have 100 billion per each one gram serving and it's going to be two and a half ounces so you figure out how many grams are in two and a half ounces and it's good for about an eight to nine month period on our packet that we're going to have available for everybody vitamin d3 and the kefir grains and your raw milk and you're set and this stuff i mean this kit you'll never have to buy the kefir grains if if in the future you have to buy other components from us, we'll be happy to, to have it available on our website, or you can call us on the phone and order. You won't have to buy this anymore. The kefir grains, you'll never have to buy anymore if you, if you take really good care of them, like you take care of your children, literally. These components, these four components, are, are basically gonna heal you from all kinds of diseases. Why? Because I just, I just spent 15, 20 minutes explaining to you why. But I want you to do this, and I want you to do this separate. And do the kefir grain, and just drink eight ounces twice a day. For those of you that are going to say, well, I can't do dairy. Well, try raw milk, and try fermenting the raw milk. And then come back and tell me if you're allergic to it or not. Every single person that I've talked to, I have dear friends. Supposedly, if you have the Jewish genome, but the, the Jewish people have a tendency to be lactose intolerant. Right? And there's a lot of people now that are lactose intolerant because for the last 50, 60 years, your families have been bringing, consuming poison milk that's, that's cooked to death, that has no, no nutritional value whatsoever. So most people are walking around now allergic to milk. You do raw milk, raw, organic, grass-fed, raw, organic, grass-fed, raw, organic, grass-fed. I repeated it three times. You find yourself a good, clean source of raw, organic, grass-fed, whatever milk, goat, sheep, camel. I mean, there's, you know, there's mammals everywhere on the planet and you consume this every day, you'll be a different person. Your body will start to heal from all these diseases. Food is medicine. That is what I'm gonna leave you with. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video, because <laughs> I tend to be that. I tend to go into the law body and the physical body and all the different bodies, because we have to be aware, so aware of it now nowadays because it's so toxic our, our our government globally is so toxic it's so insane that we have to be the same one so keep that in mind and remember kefir kefir is is one of the secrets to longevity of life you want to have longevity of life do everything raw if you can most of the stuff that you do but what i do do when i do my kefir milk and when I drink my milk, 
and I don't have to kefirize all my milk anymore. I can drink it and I'm not allergic to it anymore. And I, I have people that will, I have medical, not medical doctors, chiropractors, homeopathic physicians that also are naturopaths that treated me years ago that will tell you, yeah, Sonia was highly allergic to milk. She couldn't touch the stuff. I couldn't touch eggs. I couldn't touch milk. My candida fungus infection, I should say, that was systemic. And how did I cure it? You want to know how I cured my systemic candida infection? I did it with the candida capsules, but I also did it with this. And I did enemas with it. I did implants with this after enemas. And you can ask my significant other. I was doing these every week. You're, you're going to ask me, how many days a week do I have to do this? I was doing an enema every three to four days. Okay. And after I did my enema, I would do implants. I would do the GCMAF implants. That's what killed my candida. In my gut, it could kill the excess candida albicans. And in the rest of my body, it killed all the other stuff. You can actually drink some kefir milk the other end. It will heal you faster than you can possibly imagine, okay? So do the candida, due to candida and other diseases that are causing people to be very sick, you do the kefir milk, you do your, either a colonic where they clean you out and your intestines are now clear and now you put an implant in. You only put in about that much when you do, when you do an enema implant is what I call it. Or you can do a vaginal for you women that are having problems conceiving. Do you have cysts in your, in, do you have ovarian cysts? Do you have, most women right now, inside their, their uterus, it looks like they have spider webs growing. Kefir, kefir milk. Make some kefir milk. Do vaginal implants. Hold it as long as possible. Pro, put probiotics in every part of your body. I use this. I actually use the our, our GCMAF that I make from these, these four items. I've been on it now for two years. I make the GMAC and I actually put it on me as a cream. Just, just like I grab and put my fingers, you know, in a two ounce container. Like for example, if I had this with GMAC, I put my fingers in it and I rub it on the parts of my body that are affected. You want to do that. You can also do it with kefir milk. Because remember the sugars and the casein, which is what makes it stinky, is eaten by these guys and fed, feeds them and makes them grow. So the stuff that's not really absorbable by us, these guys take care of. So that's, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in terms of how much probiotics you can get out of eight ounces of the kefir milk. Make it yourself, people. Don't go to the store and buy the kefir milk there. Why? Think about it. Is it homogenized? Is it ultra pasteurized, the kefir milk? Go check it out. So after they ferment this beautiful milk, right, they cook it and they kill everything in it. So you're wasting your money. You might as well pay 10 bucks to a street guy, a bum on the street and go, here's 10 bucks. Go buy yourself some alcohol. Seriously, it's like, make it yourself, people. It's so easy. So with that, I'm going to close down this video. Thank you for watching. I so appreciate it. I hope you learn tons from me. And I will keep posting these videos and putting them out there so that you guys can learn how food, food is medicine. This is all I take. This is food. It's medicine. So do that instead and you'll heal yourself. Every plant, every probiotic, everything we need to heal is right here on our planet. You just need to learn which ones. So with that, I wish you the best of health. I wish you for you to get better because I know we have a lot of people that are suffering right now. So with that, I will, I will close up and thank you for watching and I'll do another episode in the near future of different products that you can actually make at home and create your own fountain youth of life. With that, I thank you and have a great day.